Hello mga ka-ML, welcome to my YouTube channel. For this video, I will teach you the tips and tricks on how to take the Moodle online exam and pass the examination. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to click subscribe and hit the notification bell. We have already experienced how to take the online exam in our virtual learning environment during our midterm examination. However, there are still issues raised by some of the students, especially on the exam where some of the teachers put a timer. And then those who have a poor internet connection. And of course, uh, most of the students does not have yet the experience on how to take the examination in the Moodle application inside our virtual learning environments. For this video, I will teach you the tips and tricks on how to take the exam in Moodle and guarantee that you will pass the examination. So for now, I will demonstrate how to take the Moodle online examination using your Moodle application. Okay, so... In order to take the exam, so open your course, then select there the examination given by your teacher. These are the important things that you need to consider. Check there the dates the quiz opened and the quiz will close. So that is where only the date and the time that you are allowed to take the examination. Another one is the attempts allowed. So during the exam, you are only allowed to take one attempt. So make sure that you need to complete the examination. Okay, so to take the exam, just click Attempt Quiz Now. So you will be redirected to the uh, questions. So make sure to read the questions carefully. For example, for matching type, so all you have to do is, uh, there are a series of choices in there. So for matching type, so you can check there the choices. Then for multiple choice you have their option buttons all you have to do is to tick the correct answer based on the option okay so make sure that when you scroll you have not touched any options in there it might change your answer then for true or false so you also have their options to select if it is true or false you can also clear your choice if you are not sure with that one so for identification you need to type the answer make sure that you type the answer correctly, uh, the correct spelling, and the proper format of the case. So, for example, if it is small letter or big letter. Since case sensitivity is important in identification type of exam. So, for essay type of exam, so you need to type there your answer. And essays are graded manually by the teacher. So, once you've already finished answering, don't forget to review your answer. So after reviewing, click next. Okay, so this is the important thing that you need to uh, keep in mind. Make sure that the status of attempt, so the status must be answer saved. So the purpose of this one is once an answer is saved, so if there are, there are power interruption or disconnection from your mobile data or internet connection, so the answer is already saved in your examination. So all you have to do, you can go back and check again your answer. How will you know that you have completely answered all your exams? So check the status of the summary of attempts. So you can see there, you know, let's say for example, number one, answer saved. Number two, not yet answered. So, so if the status is not yet answered, in short, you have not yet answered that question. So all you have to do, you can click that one and then you can go back to that question and answer that one. So make sure to review always the questions and check the status if all that questions were answered. You can still return to attempt if you want to have some changes in your answer or you can click the individual answer to go back to that particular question. Once you are through answering the question and have reviewed that one and all the status must be answer saved so you can now click submit all and finish so there is a confirmation so once you submit you will no longer be able to change your answer for this 
attempt. So make sure to finalize everything before submitting that one. Then you click OK. Once your answer has been submitted, so check there the status. So you can see there the summary of your uh, previous attempt. Alright, so you can check there the date uh, finished and submitted. So for the meantime, uh, for our Moodle examination, you are not yet allowed to review your attempt. So this is to avoid leaking the question while some students are still taking the examination. But once the exam is over, you can go back to that examination and review already your answer. How to review your scores and answer once you have taken the examination. Open the exam. So you can see there the summary of uh, previous attempt. So click that one. Then you can see there the review button. So in there you will see some of the details. Uh, how you the start date and the completion date and the time taken. So in there you can see your grade. So 11 out of 15. And then you can review your correct and incorrect answer. So correct answers are marked check while incorrect answers are marked X. So in there, uh, if the teacher have uh, provided feedback for every correct and incorrect answer, you can see there also the feedback why the answer is correct or incorrect. So by reviewing the exam, you can check your correct or incorrect answer and check your score. And now, I will give you the tips on how to pass the examination. So number one, the very important thing is you need to study your lesson. So all of the lessons provided in the VLE, so you need to study that one. It is always our responsibility to study our lesson in order for us to take the examination. And that is the most important thing to do if you want to pass the examination. So you need to study and be informed of the schedule of the examination. Choose the date and the time within the examination period wherein you are now ready to take the examination. So again, our examination schedule is flexible so you can take any time within the prescribed exam period. So select the best time that you are ready to take the examination. Before you take the examination, you may ask first your teacher if the exam has a timer or not so that you can prepare and be ready for the time examination. For those who are using mobile data, you need to be ready and look for a stable signal. You need to find a stable internet connection since especially examination with timer, so it is affected by poor internet signal. So in order for you to take the exam, so be ready, look for a stable signal so that you can take your exam. Before submitting the exam, please review it carefully and make sure that all the items in the examination were answered. So take note if you encounter problem pertaining to your exam, so you may contact your teacher and ask for their assistance. Okay, so I hope I have shared you again another learnings on how to use the Moodle mobile application specifically in taking the examination. And I believe that through this uh, video tutorial, you are now ready to take your final examination. And I would like to congratulate everybody who joined our challenge. So you are now a certified Moodle agent. And to all the winners of this challenge, Thank you very much and congratulations. So we look forward again for the next succeeding years to improve our services and develop more features in our virtual learning environment. So if you like this video, don't forget to click subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified of our next video.